David was a sanctuary for President Mrs. Reagan. The camp is actually a small U.S. Navy installation in Maryland, managed by the Seabees. President and Mrs. Reagan often invited small groups from the White House staff to accompany them and to bring their families. The business of the White House went on at Camp David while the President was there. He not only rode horses and spent time with Mrs. Reagan, President Reagan worked on speeches, personally answered public mail, and hosted heads of state. During his eight years in office, President Reagan spoke to the nation more than 40 times from Camp David and spent many of his September weekends there. In 1988, President Reagan was gifted this commemorative plate, which depicts the Camp David sign by Commander James Brodus, a commanding officer of the U.S. Navy. He gifted the plate, which is etched with presidential retreat around the edge, during President Reagan's birthday at Camp David. When asked in 1985 by the Santa Barbara News Press what he liked about Rancho del Cielo and Camp David as compared to the White House, President Reagan said, it is very wonderful to get in that size house. This is one of the benefits of going up to Camp David. You spend a weekend in a normal size house where you can open a door and go out in the backyard and things of that kind. In the White House, there's no question about the luxury and all of that, but you can also get a kind of bird in a gilded cage feeling out of it also. And to the question, so you like rattling around obviously in the small house? President Reagan simply replied, yes. Thank you for joining us for this week's Monday Minute in the Archives. Join us next week as we share our next treasure.